Okay, there is. Let's proceed ahead with your mock for Niti Bombay. So, very brief introduction from your side. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, uh, good afternoon, sir. As you mentioned, my name is Dhiraj Jado. I'm from Maharashtra, from Dhuwe district, and I have completed my graduation in chemical engineering from Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Technological University, Lonere, in Maharashtra. Coming from a financially low class family, through my academic skills and uh, uh, academic skills and uh, dedication, I have secured rank of 72 in chemical engineering exam examination. Uh, I also got a scholarship in my school days, uh, which was National Means Come Merit Scholarship. Uh, coming to my four year of uh, graduation, I have done three internships in which I am very well versified in number of projects. And my final year project was ethylene glycol separation from nano uh, ethylene glycol separation from water using nanofiltration, which was a wastewater management project. Uh, I have many uh, academics achievements, including I have consistently been in top five percent of my class. I have also represented my uh, uh, department uh, at IIT Bombay among the twelve finalists in chemo chemophilia competition which was a quiz competition organized by IIT Bombay. My software skills include use of Aspen DWSIM, which are the simulation software in chemical engineering. Apart from that, I am an all-rounder person. I have participated in many extracurricular activities like uh, dancing, organizing flash mob, playing cricket for my department and volunteering. I, I have taken part in many technical as well as non-technical events in my college. So now I want to upskill myself in industrial engineering so that uh, I can see my, uh, uh, so that I can uh, make a good career in that domain. Okay. When did you graduate? In 2021, sir. Mm, you're a chemical engineer, right? Yes, sir. So tell me now, as a chemical engineer, why Niti? Uh, sir, uh, as uh, we all know that uh, industrial engineering is interdisciplinary branch. Uh, so, chemical engineers are those uh, who they take a uh, reaction from R&D and develop uh, on a large scale. So, uh, they design a process, they design a equipment to uh, take a process from small scale to the large scale. So, uh, chemical engineers have that skill. So, I think I can use those my skills in industrial engineering also. So, that's why I need to serve. So tell me, Dheeraj, now what are the latest updates in the field of chemical engineering in the industries? Okay, sir. Sir, uh, this is the age of end of oil age. Now, uh, bioeconomy is uh, gaining uh, really momentum nowadays. So, uh, and chemical engineering, the biggest problem nowadays uh, faced by chemical industries are uh, crude oil problems because they need a uh, much uh, uh, petrol or diesel to produce uh, chemicals. Uh, so uh, we can divert towards specialty chemicals means uh, uh, not going uh, for bulk and commodity kind of chemicals. So that is the thing. Sir. Okay. Dheeraj, are you aware about industrial engineering? Yes, sir. Okay. So what do you understand by supply chain? Sir, supply chain includes all the stages between uh, uh, manufacturing to delivering product to the customers like uh, manufacturing, uh, uh, inventory, also uh, a transportation and also retailer warehouses. So all that uh, stages are included in supply chain. Okay. So uh, uh, supply chain of typical petroleum product, can you tell me that? Petrol, uska supply chain? Mitao? No, sir, I don't have that uh, knowledge. Just think how from where it all starts. Sir, it, it starts from uh, a mining process. Means uh, We need to mine that exploration. Uh, ex uh, exploration. We need to explore that uh, where, where are the sources of crude oil and we need to take, we need to test that. After that, uh, we need to uh, 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 refine them in uh, industries like uh, Reliance Industries and ONGC, they, these are the refineries from where a different kind of uh, products are taken out with the help of distillation and various processes. Uh, after that, the uh, much more components are uh, came out of that crude oil and through that uh, the distribution is take place. 
Okay. So, uh, are you aware about the latest uh, uh, technological developments like IoTs and Industry 4.0? These things? Y yes, sir. What do you understand by this? Sir, IoTs are a physical object uh, which gather the information with the help of uh, sensors and actuators and share with each other with the help of internet. And uh, uh, which ones are next? Okay, like uh, Industry 4.0? Yes, sir. So what is Industry 4.0? Industry 4.0 is cyber physical systems, means it improves the manufacturing and industrial processes with the help of key technologies like uh, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, additive manufacturing and robotics and also uh, internet of things. Okay, Dheeraj, are you aware about uh, renewable energy sources in India? Uh, yes, sir. There are yeah. wine mills which are the renewable energy sources mm. through which we are getting electricity. Mm. And which also one the most power. prominent? Which one is the most prominent renewable energy source? Yes, sir. Solar energy. Mm. Uh, there is no tell me what uh, what do you understand by operation research? Sir, operation research is a discipline in which uh, it provides the analytical tool to take a decision. Means in in that we use mathematics and statistics to take decision in industries. Okay, so uh, can you define Gibbs function? Gibbs function. Uh, sorry, sir, I could not remember. Okay, can you tell me how do you calculate the entropy change in a chemical reaction? Entropy change in a chemical reaction. Yes, sir, we need to uh, first uh, define a, a chemical equilibrium. So we need to calculate that K through uh, of reaction. After that, uh, uh, we calculate a Gibbs free energy and through that uh, relation of Gibbs free energy and entropy, we can calculate entropy of reaction. Mm. Can you define the different type of thermodynamic systems? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, there is uh, isothermal, uh, adiabatic and also isochoric, isobaric system. Okay. No, that is a process, is, that is not a system. I'm asking you to define thermodynamic systems. No, sir, I don't have idea. Okay. Okay, there is, let me give you the feedback. So, there is one is chemical engineering subjects you should go through. Yes, sir. He will ask you from any anywhere. Basic question. Thermodynamics yes, is your basic subject, and in that you study the Gibbs function. Yes, sir. Chemical reaction. So, he will arbitrarily ask you the question. Okay, and sir. Then he is going to ask you basic terms of industrial engineering. What do you mean by industrial engineering and also that document which is kept there on the panel, please go through that. Yes, sir. And then supply chain, typical supply chain of chemical industry, automobile sector, IT industry, agriculture sector, he tends to ask that also. You should know what is supply chain and uh, supply chain of typical industries. Okay, sir. Then he's going to ask you about uh, current topics which are going on. Okay, sir. You have knowledge about that also. So I'm sending every day the current topics, right? They are kept yes, on the panel, start revising those topics. Yes, sir, I am. They will be kept on the panel and you have to revise that, right? Okay, sir. Okay. Is that done, uh, Sir, uh, sir uh, I want to ask that uh, if they ask me about uh, any changes uh, you find in curriculum of NITI. So I have one uh, suggestion for them. Okay. Sir, uh, recording is on. Okay, uh, let me give you another feedback before we uh, stop recording. Aapkana yes, shirt hai or tie match nahi kar raha hai aur shirt aur background bhi match nahi kar raha. Tie thodi okay, dark honi chahiye yaar. Ye bhi dark nahi hai aur shirt bhi dark nahi hai. Light hai na dono. Okay sir. So tie thodi agar dark ho sake then it will look very good. And uh, agar background white hai to shirt tumhara tumhe fir uh, thodi blue color ki dalni chahiye. Aur tie okay, fir tumhe alag color ki aur dark dalni chahiye to contrast nahi ban raha tumhare isme. Uh, clothing, everything is okay, right? Okay, sir.